Hi, what is going on, everybody? This is Jimmy. This is another Riding with Horrific. We are at Monster Park. And this is a park that got a lot of nominations in the first Robots Award, uh, but did not get any wins. That may change here tonight. As we come in, check that out. They even have like monster park maps there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And immediately, the front of Monster Park is looking pretty different because of the new ride that is open in this new area. This New York little uh, alcove here for the Ghost Coaster. Let's do it. Paranormal Chase, man. Ghostbusters, wait, there's Slimer. That's Soda. Slimer was in a uh... I'm not gonna lie, this kinda looks like rock and roller coaster. Courteous and efficient staff is on call 24 hours a day to serve all your supernatural elimination needs. We are ready to believe you. You want to be... Look at this. <laughs> You're zipping around. <laughs> I mean, that was cool, but it looked a lot like the rock and roller coaster that looked a lot like Fast and the Furious, that looked a lot like uh, Back to the Future. So it was just a lot of the same kind of feel as far as the launch coaster goes and the dark, but that one... Definitely, and I think one thing we're going to do is
cool store. Some cool shirts. Cool shirts over here too. So Ghost Coaster Man, like at the end of the night, we'll talk about what gets nominated, what doesn't for all the various categories. But uh, I thought that this one was pretty clean overall. I thought that this ride was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, like let's go do Bride of Frankenstein, which I think could be the first thing that gets nominated for a walkthrough attraction. Lab Escape has been closed now for a little while. It's interesting. This is still one of the best um, things. To be nominated, or you know, best haunts, really, to be uh, included in a theme park. I wish Monster Park would do more. Because this really takes you right back to what was a iconic maze for Halloween Horror Nights, without question. Some of the set design in here. Some audio straight from the maze. from the Black Lagoon. still pretty good man like <clears throat> it's always been good something that I have a vague remembrance of being actually pretty terrible was this ride though the black creature from the black lagoon water ride and is it not even open right now
Dang, so a lot of their stuff has closed. And their map still shows all these things, you know, but they definitely are not fully open. Oh, here we are. <clears throat> to my mistake, this is open. I'll be curious then if we... Also a VIP, and I've been going in the standard queue, but it's not like it really matters. No one is in the park. So the amount of switchbacks I would have to do would be decreased. And like once again, like how is this creature from the Black Lagoon? You know what I'm saying? spinning around disorienting water ride I'll give it that but <clears throat> like you didn't even put like a, a creature character or anything in here like how is this creature from Black Lagoon first of all that's like the major problem I have with this whole thing Yes, we, I just double checked on the uh, Frankenstein lab escape. That is actually closed. I apologize for thinking that this one was closed. One thing I will say, I do like this this area aesthetic a lot. The creature from the Black Lagoon.
is actually a cool way to uh, end things here from the update from Monster Park. We didn't do Saw, we didn't do the Wolfman roller coasters, but we're not made. We'll come back here uh, and do a little bit of an update you know, later on between now. But right now, I would say that the solid nominations for this place would be... Uh, Best year-round haunted house with Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I do think the Ghostbuster coaster is cool enough to nominate, and I even think the best uh, nighttime spectacular there with Marathon and Mayhem uh, is worth nominating right off the get-go in the early going here. So yeah, right on. We'll be back at Monster Park at some point before the awards, more than likely. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And, yeah, stay tuned for more.